Sure. Hi, this is Luis Alvarenga and right here from Saguarita with Pet Bowl today. What a show today. We have an amazing program. We're going to talk about her work and her writing and her stories. What a blessing, what a pleasure, my friend. It's so good to, to see you. So Pet Bowl with you. us here in Saguarita Channel 25 and your show voices. Remember, we're going to have this in Spanish later. Muchas gracias. Thank you for being with us. Tell us a little bit about yourself, and then we're going to talk about your work, and in and, and the end, we're going to ask people to support you, how they can get to know you better via buying books or having you to read mm -hmm. or do a presentation. Okay. This is Luis Alvarenga with Peg Bowden. Welcome. Bienvenidos, amigos. And Estamos en vivo. We're live. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, um, I grew up in Tucson. Oh, so you're from Arizona? Uh, from Arizona. Oh, wonderful. Moved away when I was an adult for 30 years. Lived wow. in Oregon. Oregon. But when uh, I uh, retired from nursing, decided to move back to the desert. So my husband and I, we live near the border in a very remote part of the mountains in the San Cayetano. San Cayetano. Right. We, we have, San Cayetano. we call it a ranch. It's not really a ranch, but we have 50 acres. Very remote. And the last thing I ever thought I would do was become involved with border issues, immigration politics. But um, every day when I would drive to the grocery store, I would see young men being picked up on the side of the road by oh. border patrol agents. And this is uh, in, in Europe, from, from where you live? From where I live, yeah. In San Cayetano. In the San Cayetanos, yeah. Si, I live si. a, like a half hour from Rio Rico. A half hour from Rio Rico. Rico. We're talking about the border between Mexico and yeah. United States here in Southern Arizona. For you, I may show a map, and this is the Santa Cruz Valley. We are Tucson, Saborita. Rio Rico, and then the border, and you are right around that right. in San Cayetano. Right. As the crow flies, I'm probably 10 miles from the Mexico border. 10 miles from the Mexico lindo. Lindo. What a beautiful thing. It's very Just beautiful. To, to, I, I experienced something the other day when I draw in Rio Rico. There is these little hills you go up and down, mm -hmm. and when you see them from a distance, it's so beautiful. I was amazed. I'm in love with Saborita, but Rio Rico is so pretty. Very pretty. And yes. San Cayetano, all those desert experiences. You yes. live there now. Mm -hmm. Live there, and um, I play in the Green Valley Band. Oh. Uh, You're a musician? I'm a musician. Wow. Too. What do you do? Uh, well, do play? I play the timpani, the kettle drums. Oh. I play percussion, but uh, timpani is my. Wow. favorite instrument. So I make more noise than probably anyone in the band. Beautiful. <laughs> well, I play the drum here in the community oh, really? of the Good Shepherd. And I, I, my preferred instrument is guitar because mm -hmm. I started when I was young playing and singing mm -hmm. uh, music, uh, folkloric music, ah, Latino, right. um, indigenous music. Mm -hmm. And so, but it's good to know that you're also a musician. Right. You're an artist. Right. Well, and, yes, uh, I paint and, too. <laughs> and, so, Peg Bowden, ladies and gentlemen, she is not only a musician, a, a painter, but also a very outstanding writer. We're going to talk about her work, but tell me about your painting. I am learning how to do watercolors. My mother-in-law, ah. my mother-in-law, mi suegra, um, la señora um, Bercy Sanford, I am Key West. I learned how to do watercolors in Key West oh. in plain air with her. Lovely. Well, I do plain air and also do watercolors. Oh. And I uh, actually have uh, several of my paintings in two back in one of the galleries. Oh, wonderful. There, so. <laughs> for, the, for those of you who are in Spain or Canada or here in the northern of the United States, we want to make sure you know that here in the southern Arizona is an outstanding place of art. And one of them is Tubac. Mm -hmm. Tubac, I used to work there last year, learning mm -hmm. how to be a hospice chaplain. Uh, okay. I've been a minister, you, you may know, I'm a reverend, I'm an ordained pastor, but I love doing TV and that's why we're here, to talk about Peg, not about me. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so, let's hear. We know about your painting, how beautiful. We can see them also on your website. Do you have a website? Uh, actually, I do have a website for them, but you can see them at a gallery in Tubac, yes. which is called the Galleria del Bach. 
B-A-C. Ca- ca- del bar. Del bar. Yes, que right. bien. So at the end, you guys are going to have all this info and the rolling credits. So you can be in touch with Peg and get to see her beautiful work. Um, Peg Bowden. 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 Yes. Scottish. Uh, with a little English. A little in. English. Yes, right. How wonderful. So, Peg, Margarita. Sí. Margaret. Sí. So, we want to talk about your work. You do painting, you do music, and you're going to be here presenting. I am at the uh, Common Ground on the Border. Common Ground on the Border coming Conference. up this weekend here in Saguarita. It's right here in this studio. Um, L is going to be used for one of the learnings I took last year with uh, Miss St. Clair. Ah, painting. Right. My, my second class on painting. Good, yeah. And I'm loving it. I'm going to take it again. But also we have in this particular room spirituality with Rabbi Chuviel Maharabi who's coming to be with us, but also Peg's going to be here. Tell us, tell us more about you and well, your work here. I'm going to be talking about my work on the border um, with the Green Valley Samaritans. Yes. Um, I go down to Mexico, Nogales, Sonora, every week and I work with the recently deported migrants mm-hmm. who um, our government uh, has dumped back into Mexico. Um, I also uh, and uh, the work we do is um, is very basic. Um, the people are hungry. Uh, the people are often very disheveled um, because they've been in the desert maybe many days. And so we take clothing down. We take medical supplies, and I help serve breakfast to between 50 and 100 uh, newly deported migrants um, every the Tuesday. Uh, yeah, in Mexico at a shelter uh, called El Comedor. El Comedor, in Mexico, El Comedor. Right, it's run uh, by the Jesuits. Um, it's a uh, it's a miracle. This place is a miracle in that it's like a safe landing zone for people who are at the lowest point in their lives. So the work, uh, you know, I initially started doing this five years ago and I thought, I'll just do this for a year because I really want to learn about immigration, why it is so complex Mm -hmm. in our country, why we cannot uh, pass immigration reform, why we cannot change our laws, become more humane. And I became so swept up in the problem that, of course, I've been doing it now for five years, going down about every week. And um, I am always inspired and by the courage uh, and the values of the people that I see and that I work with. Wow. Peg also wrote a book that we have at home. Um, and this particular book talks about those stories of immigrants. The book, tell, yeah. tell us, is this your only book? You have several books? Right, no, this is my only book, although I do write a blog too, but um, I'm working on book number two. But, uh-huh. You know, I never thought I'd write a book, but I became obsessed with uh, telling people the stories that I was hearing each week from the migrants. My book is called uh, A Land of Hard Edges. A Land of Hard Edges. Lots of Unitarians, social activists, um, uh, but we call ourselves the Samaritans uh, because of the story that came out of the Bible uh, where one does a good deed for another person no matter who they are. Yes. And uh, that's what we're about. The other things that the Samaritans do is they go out to the desert uh, and leave water in places where migrants are apt to pass through. Uh, we also do desert searches where we look for lost or migrants or people that might be in trouble. And you know, it doesn't matter if they're a migrant or not. If there's somebody in the desert hiking, lost, uh, we're going to help them and find them. We don't sure. ask for their papers. We, we don't we're, ask we're, for their We're towards saving a life. Right. Uh, it's, a humanitarian aid. It's humanitarian aid. Humanitarian aid. aid. Yes, sure. yes, yes. Regardless, of, as people think of political um, notions, is humanitarian aid saving right. lives in the desert when scorching hot temperatures reach hundreds right. of degrees. I, I also want to mention, I belong to another group called the Border Community Alliance. Yes, we're going to showcase to you this information. And uh, I sp- help spearhead a program in the summer for young people 
who are either undergraduates in college or graduate students for about six weeks. Students come down here in the summer. We provide housing. We wow. give them a small stipend. Wow. And we immerse them in the uh, political, cultural, humanitarian aspects of living in the borderlands. So the students go to the Comodoro each week. They come to Samaritan meetings. I take them into Tucson to various conferences. Uh, they go to Operation Streamline, which is a court proceeding for migrants. Um, they are blown away <laughs> by the experience, and yes. it changes their life. Border Community Alliance also has a website, bordercommunityalliance.com. We're going to showcase some of the photos of the brochure in this particular program with Peg Bowen. And remember that you can be in touch with her at the very end of the program. We're going to have phone numbers, emails, and information. How can you get to see her work? Arts, paintings, and writings. And more important, to hear and be with her this weekend on the 17th of March here in Saguarita when we showcase the border, common ground on the border event. Uh, we're expecting, um, last year we have many people from all over, mm -hmm. and so it was my first year, this is my mm -hmm. second year, I'm so excited because I'm a student, and I am a member of the committee also, participating with the uh, compañeros who are putting this together. And so, Peg Bowden, March 17, Common Ground on the Border, Saguarita, remember, right here, and the uh, community of the Good Shepherd, 17750 South, La Cañada, and Saborita, Arizona. For more info at the end, I'll give you the site. And also, um, Peg, is there anything else? How can people be supportive of you? How can people come to be of help in your projects? Well, um, they can read my book. <laughs> they can um, contact me at my email address, which is uh, Peg Bowden, that's B-O-W-D-E-N, 1942 at gmail.com. Um, I'm, I'm going to be speaking at Cochise College sometime in the fall at their book festival. Cochise College this fall? I'm also available uh, for book clubs, uh, book readings, library readings, um, churches. Many, many moments, churches. presentations, yeah. conversations, community forums, anything that we, you, you, get, you can invite Peg to come and be part of a, a nice afternoon or a morning presentation with her marvelous work. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for, for this time you spent with us here at Voices, the brand new Channel 25 here on the web and TV Radio Arizona. Gracias. Thank you for being with us. And we're going to have this program in Espanol. So, Gracias, Peg, for be anything else before we go. No, thank Any you English. for having me, and uh, hope to see you. I hope our paths cross. We will, we, will, we will be in touch. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. And I hope that this is not the last show. We're going to have Peg. And probably, um, once I get a whole of more delicate paintings, I'm going to showcase some of my... I have only <laughs> two. <laughs> but guess what? I love it. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm yes, loving I this love art of... of uh, a great right. meditation. Certainly. Yeah. So, friends, I'm going to stop here and I'm going to invite you to come back. Visit us at www.tvradioazla.com. ¿Qué significa TV Radio Arizona? Muy bien. Thank you and hasta la vista. Gracias.